Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, an online buddy of ours, Damien Clarkson of Vivolution, the largest vegan conference in the United Kingdom. Well, he just recently wrote an article that got posted on Huffington Post UK entitled, Stop Fighting Veganism, It's Already Won, in which he talks about how veganism has been winning. There's more vegan products than ever. They're doing more successful than ever. There's more vegan restaurants. Even mainstream food makers are introducing vegan food lines. Anyway, apparently Beef Magazine, <laughs> I didn't know there's such a thing, saw this article, got extremely butthurt, and felt like they had to respond to this outrage. Beef Magazine says that Clarkson is pulling the usual old jabs at meat eaters, like meat eating is killing the planet, and veganism slows down climate change, and they find that these claims to be old and tiresome. They're just sick and tired of hearing these silly claims. Well, that would be a good point to raise if these weren't actually true points. Eating meat is actually destroying the planet and going vegan actually does slow down climate change. And I'm not just pulling this stuff out of my butt here. Just have a look at Cowspiracy's facts page. There are just dozens and dozens and dozens of studies listed here. Not put out by like radical vegans with some kind of crazy vegan agenda. We're talking about like the United States government and peer reviewed studies published in academic journals. And all these studies point to one undeniable fact that animal agriculture is indeed destroying our planet. So in this butthurt article from Beef Magazine, what do they offer against this giant mound of evidence against animal agriculture, against raising cattle for food? Well, they don't list anything, not a single study, not any research paper put up by any organization, absolutely nothing. What they do offer, though, is an anecdotal story about a single person who supposedly failed on a vegetarian diet. Someone who was a strict vegetarian. They couldn't even find a vegan. What is a strict vegetarian anyway? Meaning they eat tons of cheese? Anyway, it's someone who followed a strict vegetarian diet for 12 years and had a host of health issues. So because of that, the vegetarian diet, and I guess vegan diets, fail. Well, what Beef Magazine fails to mention is how many Americans, how many people fail at a meat diet instead of just one person failing on a vegetarian diet. From heart disease alone, in the United States, 610,000 Americans die from heart disease, which is caused by hardening of the arteries from eating meat, which contains cholesterol. So yeah, they point out that there's been a vegetarian out there somewhere that failed after 12 years of eating tons of dairy and vegetables, and they fail to mention the hundreds of thousands of people that die each year from eating meat. Well, they next point out that, well, there's cultures out there, like hundreds and thousands of people since time immemorial who have thrived, who have been super healthy by eating a high meat diet. I've seen paleo bloggers do the same thing too, and Beef Magazine pulls out one of their favorites, the Inuits the Canadian Eskimos of the Arctic who have supposedly thrived on a diet of fish, whale, and seal and walrus. Well, it's interesting. Where are the studies that exactly show us? I know you hear people say this all the time. What does the actual science say about the health of the Inuits? Well, in 2014, a study was published exactly on that. A group of researchers, having heard these fabled health myths about the Inuits, set out to do a study to see what the actual situation really was. Well, the myths before the study said that somehow these Inuits didn't know what heart disease was, despite their high meat-centric diets. Well, the researchers found that just was completely untrue. Their rates of heart disease were pretty much the same as non-Eskimo populations. They had heart disease. And secondly, they found their mortality rates to be about twice that of non-Eskimo populations. So they die a lot. I know some people try to refute this study by saying, hey, what the Inuits eat now is unhealthy. Their diet has evolved to be more modern. What you really got to look at is what the Inuits were eating thousands of years ago. That's the true healthy, high meat diet that doesn't cause heart disease. Well, there's a study out there that did exactly that. They found the mummified remains of Inuits from around 2,000 years ago, and they found they had hardened plaques in their brains, in their hearts. They had heart disease. 
So yeah, the Inuits aren't doing as well as Beef Magazine would like you to think. They get heart disease, they're dying of heart disease, and they're just not living as long as non-Eskimo populations are. So what Beef Magazine should have done, if they really wanted to see who was living the longest, they should have done what the United States government did back in 1949. Look to see where the most longest lived people lived at. And these people were in Okinawa, in Japan. And let's take a look at what they were eating. Were they eating a bunch of meat? Were they vegetarian or vegan? Well, they were pretty close to vegetarian as any population out there. Less than 4% of all their calories came from all animal products combined. I'm talking meat, dairy, whatever. Less than 4%. And they happen to be the ones that lived the longest. Hmm, what do you think about that, Beef Magazine? And I think the best part of this article from Beef Magazine were the great comments there. I was worried for a moment, like, God, people are people going to buy this load of crap? And no, people are not buying this load of crap. In fact, I like this one comment out here that calls them out specifically how they're going to cause people to die because of this misinformation. So nice try, Beef Magazine. Nice try trying to refute veganism by just offering this opinion piece with no facts, no research, no studies, no nothing. I challenge you guys, put out another article. Put out some science out there that shows how eating a high meat diet opens up previously clogged arteries, saves the lives of heart disease patients. You can't, but I can put some stuff up here showing you how the same thing will happen when you're on a vegan diet. The arteries open back up. If you show me your diet does that, I'm game. Put it out there for me. Anyway, hit like if you got some out of this video. Hit like if you like my videos here exposing these this misinformation, these alternative facts from the beef industry. Um, share this with a friend who may have saw this article. It came out like last week. It was starting to make the round, so I figure it's time now to respond. And um, subscribe if you're new to our channel for more from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, and I'm talking to you guys at Beef Magazine and all your followers. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Round and round again Spinning